I suck at painting landscapes, okay? Every time I paint a landscape, a little part of me literally crumbles. It dies inside of me. Uh, so that's literally why I only paint portraits. But you know, when you're at rock bottom, you know, you can only go up. The only way I'm gonna get better is if I just, you know, start painting, okay? If I start actually painting landscapes. So today I'm starting a little experiment where I paint every day for five days to see if I'll improve on my landscapes. And I think the last time I painted a landscape was like probably in 2020. You can check my Instagram. And of course, the first thing we gotta do is choose our reference. So I went outside and I walked around for a little bit with my dog and I took this picture and went straight back inside because it was like over a hundred degrees. <laughs> and the reason I'm not doing like plein air, like painting from life is because I literally was outside for five minutes and my phone got that like heat warning, like the temperature warning. It's too hot outside. I, I just, I can't be painting outside. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna be painting from this picture for the next five days and um, uh, I'm not really sure how it's gonna help me improve, but I guess um, we're just gonna have to see. Let's get into it. Before we start, I wanna give a huge thank you to Beaten for sending me the supplies that we're gonna be using throughout this video. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna be using this awesome tabletop easel that, so we can paint really comfortably on my desk. Huge set of acrylic paint, some fun little canvas pads, and some brushes. And they're a little soft, and they're brushes, and I love the brushes. So again, thank you so much to Meet In for sending me these supplies. And if you guys wanna get your own supplies, you can too. You can use this link to get 10% off your first purchase. Whoa! And I... <laughs> And I'll leave that link down um, in the description below. Um, so those are my supplies that I'm gonna be using because I know a lot of you guys are always curious. Now let's get into it. Well, here's my little setup. I also have this palette that they also sent me, so I'm gonna be using this one. Also, I wanna apologize for my voice. I just had my wisdom teeth removed. I'm getting like sick now. I don't know. I have a bunch of colors here, which is a little strange for me because I only ever use the primary colors. I suppose let's get started. I feel like this is gonna be really difficult. Well, um, I painted the, the tree branch. Um, I was gonna block everything in like I usually do with my portraits, but like this doesn't make any sense because now I have like a billion things in the background that I need to paint first before I paint like the foreground or whatever the hell it's called. So I'm not actually sure what to do now. Yeah, this is why I don't do landscapes. Can you see me? Hello? Can you see me? I don't know if you can see me. But it's been 30 minutes. It's a little abstract, okay? We got a little abstract thing going. I mean, obviously, I haven't spent enough time on it, but I don't know what else I would do. Like, I'm lost right now. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know how to fix this. I don't understand landscapes. It just doesn't- it doesn't make sense to me. Well, well, here's day one. Honestly, honestly, okay, honestly, it's not even that bad. If if you squinted your eyes, you'd be like, okay, okay. I think the colors could definitely use some work, but the values I feel like are there. Like there's some nice contrast maybe, but it's hard to tell like where the background and the foreground begins and ends. So yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna improve. We're gonna try again tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Good night. Okay guys, day two, day two. Day two. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'm gonna try and learn from my mistakes here. One, it just looks very sloppy, very rushed. I think I'm gonna start with like the background first instead of like painting this giant tree first. Let's get started. Alrighty, already, already. It's been, it's been 17 minutes. Kind of finished doing like the background. I still don't know how to paint trees at all. I think what landscape artists say, they're like, oh, you don't have to put so much detail. Like you don't have to paint every single leaf because that'd be impossible. <laughs> But I think in the background, I'm gonna put less detail, right? Cause like, if it's the background, like who cares, right? <laughs> Again, if you squint your eyes, you're like, ooh. Okay, that's kind of like a river. But I think I'm gonna put some shadows down here now and then I'll start with the giant tree. Okay, let's get into it. I decided to call it quits. I spent about the same amount of time on this painting. Like I did then, what? I spent a I spent around the same time making this painting than I did making the other painting, but here it is. 
I don't understand how to paint. Take a look though. Oh my God, they look exactly the same. Ah! <laughs> okay, fine. This one's a little bit better. This tree in the background is definitely better than whatever is going on there. It's a lot more refined, I would say. So, okay, yes, I improved a little bit. I don't understand how to paint the landscape. I knew this was gonna happen where I just wasn't gonna understand it. So phase two of this experiment is gonna be me looking at landscape paintings. I'm just gonna look at the painting um, of landscapes. I'm just gonna study it. I'm just gonna look and that's gonna be my only help for phase two. And I'm gonna start that tomorrow. Day three, day three. <coughs> okay, bye. <laughs> day three, suckers. <laughs> Mala got more sick. A slay zombie and be get sicker. Okay, it's day three and it's time to paint again. But I'm gonna look at some paintings of trees. Mm, okay. Okay, okay. Whoa. How? Common mistakes when painting trees. Uh oh. Should I look at that? No. Oh my god. I need to blow my nose. <laughs> That's enough studying for me. We're gonna do what we did last time. Oh, this is the first one. <laughs> Daddy would tell the difference. Let me put the chair down. Which is... Dude, I think after I got my wisdom teeth removed, I literally got dumber. I don't know what happened. I think I just, I literally got stupider. I guess you could say they, I got my wisdom removed. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I did last time, and I'm gonna start with the background. I think I'm gonna try and work on my values and my colors a little bit more. Let's get into it. <coughs> well, I spent like 15 minutes just on this tree. Let's compare. What is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, beautiful, sexy. I just completely ignored this whole part because like it just doesn't it doesn't make sense to me like what is that that is so ugly i'm removing it and i'm just coloring it in dude i literally just chose like the most complicated photo first of all like why am i painting a tree with like a broken branch coming down like what was my thought process why would i ever do that to myself i'm calling it a day we're done. Let's do a quick, quick, quick recap. Day one, okay. Day two, okay. Day three, which doesn't look like a huge difference to me. Okay, wait. I feel like there was definitely an improvement. This one definitely feels more realistic, like the shading. I don't know, there's like more detail, I guess. Which I'm confused because I spent the same amount of time on these. But look at the trees in the background. Like, what was I even thinking? I think the experiment is working, but I actually don't know how it's gonna get better than this. <laughs> First three days was was good. We observed from our own mistakes, but now I think it's time for phase three, which is looking at someone painting in real time. I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna search up like a video and I'm just gonna study it. I'm gonna soak it into my brain and then I'm gonna put it and spit it out into paper. I'll see you tomorrow. It's day four. Time lots of tree painting. Okay, so he kind of like, he dabs on like, you can see he like, okay, wait, okay. Oh. Okay, they put, they put like the dark first and they just blocked it in with the darks and then I think they, they, oh my God, genius. Okay, so I'm an idiot basically is what's happening. Uh, this is totally gonna be it. This is totally gonna be it. been like literally like five minutes maybe uh, oh shit oh god i've seen that I video did. basically like the background in like this really dark green and then i'm gonna go over it with like the highlights whoa there's so much more detail in this picture now that i zoomed in why have i never zoomed in why have I never zoomed into the picture? Uh, I'm an idiot. So I guess I'll get back to you guys later. Hey guys, it's me, Camilla, and it's 1am. I spent a little bit longer.
longer on this painting than I did with all the other ones. It's not because I was like, oh, I'm going to spend more time on this one just so it looks better. The last few times I was doing it, I just stopped when I was like, duh. I did the same thing with this one. It just took longer for some reason. I think I just learned a couple things. Here she is. I don't know why I didn't turn on the lights. She's cool. She's cool and all. The details like in the trees are a lot better. Like I finally kind of figured out a little bit how to paint a tree. I would say that again there's like a not big enough contrast between like the front tree and the back tree i feel like the back the things in the background should be lighter day one holy cow oh my god day three wow that is a huge difference i actually don't know how it's gonna get better than this the final phase phase four is gonna be me watching a tutorial good night america <laughs> And good night to the rest of the world. I don't know why I said America. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, the day has come. Day five. Phase four is about to begin. I'm gonna look up a tutorial on YouTube and I'm just gonna try and soak in everything. I've already said this, but I don't know how I'm gonna improve from yesterday, but we've come a long way, okay? So even if there's not a huge improvement today, you know, there was a big improvement from day one. <laughs> Let's watch a tutorial. Switched over to Robin Sea Lark. We paint back to front. Okay, I've been doing that. I've been doing that. I've been doing that. I figured that, I figured that out myself. Locking in your colors, I do that! I do that! Okay, that's what I was saying yesterday. I was like, dude, I think I went a little bit too dark in the background. I figured that out myself. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh, this is so helpful! And I'm gonna smash the like button and I'm actually already subscribed. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready and I love you. Thank you so much, Robin. Tickle, tickle, tickle. This is it. This is the one. I think so far, this little background is good. It's a lot lighter than yesterday. Like, look how dark this is. Although this tree does look just like a lot better. I took what Robin said, the tonal range, and I tried to make it not super contrasting. Hopefully it'll make this stand out apart from all the other stuff. This tree, this tree is kind of awesome. And I'm not even gonna lie to you. And I kind of just want to leave it like this. I can't do that, unfortunately. Okay, first of all, I think that was the longest I spent on a painting. One hour and a half. So all of these have been under an hour and a half. I don't think I improved. I actually, I actually think it got worse as I predicted. I don't know. Let's compare it to yesterday. This one looks way more realistic. Or, right? Or am I crazy? I feel like this one's like really, really saturated, like a lot of green. Feels like more natural. Maybe you like something like this a little bit more. I mean, they're both pretty realistic. I guess this, this is my peak for now, I guess. Just for the hell of it, let's go back to day one. I actually can't. I actually can't believe, I don't even think I tried on this one. Like it literally looks like I didn't try, which is crazy because I know for a fact I was trying. <laughs> this is all I could do. And now look, I would say that's an improvement. Let me know what you guys think that I improved. Which day was your favorite? I don't know, maybe you prefer a little more stylized, maybe you prefer a little more realistic, or maybe you thought they were all horrible, which is completely valid too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, bye.